Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Adam playing Dark Souls 3, the weapon playthroughs. Last episode we did uh, Archdragon Peak, I obtained this beautiful weapon on my back. Let me go and take a closer look at that scabbard and just the blade in general. Ooh. The thing is, this is a pretty stubby greatsword also. Compared to the Claymore, I think, right? Uh, yeah. What does this thing have, actually? Does this thing have a uh, stance? Yes, it does. Anything special with stance, or is it just a normal stance? Just a normal one, okay. I think it does have this move set. Yeah. Look at that. That could be useful. This weapon seems seems to have a ridiculous high amount of potential. But I'm going to continue using the claymore for now, because I haven't... I, like, I'm not able to... Well, I am able to, technically, but... I'm not going to be upgrading those weapons to maximum level quite yet. I will do that after I have obtained the... Covetous Gold Serpent Ring, so I can grind for the Flamberge and take a look at that weapon also. Even though I gotta say, I have uh, I have accumulated a hate for the Flamberge since I... Since farming it seems a pain in the ass. Well, I knew it was gonna be a pain in the ass, but... I didn't know it was... Well, I mean, if you equip the stuff that I equipped... Then you will have a 5% chance of getting it. Which isn't a lot. But it normally shouldn't be... Well, I don't know, man. I should just shut up and... We're just gonna go and get the cover this gold serpent ring and we're gonna win. God fucking damn it, I missed. Hello, friends. What the fuck? What? <laughs> I've never seen that attack before. Well, it's not like I fight a lot of these enemies anyway. I can arm off them. Curse, they suck. Let's see, people. Are we going to be invaded? Or not? The chances are very much there that we'll be invaded, but... I don't know. I don't really know how many people like to invade in this place. I sure as hell don't. Like, if I can avoid it, I'm not going to invade in a place like this. Not like I do a lot of invading, but... At least I don't think I'm going to have to do it anymore. Normally in any case. Since I'm not really going to be doing a playthrough which is going to revolve around getting all the rings or all of the armor sets or whatever. Yeah, I don't think there's anything <laughs> at that point. You know what? I did have an idea though. For the Dark Souls 1 and 2 playthroughs. So instead of doing multiple playthroughs... I'm just gonna go and do one playthrough, but then, yeah, but then I have to go into new game. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteed that you have to go into new game plus, but I don't know, man. I don't like going too far into new game plus, because then it becomes annoying, in my opinion. After a while, the enemies just become so beefy, and you die so fucking fast to the point that it's just very annoying. That's why, that's actually the biggest reason why I'm doing the playthroughs like this, because otherwise, actually, hmm, if I could redo these playthroughs right now when it comes to this game. I would do them all in one playthrough. I would collect everything in one playthrough by going multiple times into, into New Game Plus. Because I know I'm capable of doing that in this game. And also just... I think you only have to go to New Game Plus 2 if you want to get all the stuff. Like all the weapons, all the armors, all the rings. You have to only go into New Game Plus 2 and then you'll be able to get everything. I think in any case. Not when I'm so sure about that. Well, I think when it comes to the other games, I'm not sure if that is the case. It could be. It very much could be. I might want to look into that. But that is for... ...quite a lot later, because there's still a couple of pages left. You might be thinking like, hey, why don't you just go and do that now then? Like... Why don't you just go and, um... Why don't you go and just, from this one onwards, collect all the remaining weapons that are left on your entire list of... Madness. I don't want to do that right now because then it wouldn't make too much sense anymore. I at least want to finish off these playthroughs and then I'll see what I do with the rest. Piece of shit. There we go. It is a much better idea to do all of these things in one playthrough though. In my opinion. Well, I've noticed that in any case. 
I was, I gotta say, I was already kind of unsure about this entire idea of doing this. Where I go to, like, do multiple playthroughs with all different kinds, uh, kinds of weapon types and all that jazz. But right now I've noticed that, like, sure, in a certain way it's fun, but it's a lot. That's a lot of playthroughs. That's like 17 playthroughs, I think. 17 or 18 playthroughs in total. Which is a lot. That is a lot more than going into New Game Plus 7. Or like New Game Plus 3 or whatever, that would be... It is 17, right? Yep. If I add the Great Access... I'm sorry, the... Uh, if I add the Bow Plater to it, it's 17 Plagers. Which is a metric crap load. And I won't even be able to get all of the armor sets or whatever, because then I'd have to also do a separate playthrough for that, which is not worth it. So, yeah. God damn you. God damn you, dogs! Oh, nice. That was easy. Well, that was easy. This guy, however, is going to be an issue. Ready? I'm gonna edge walk me, brother. Of course I tried to parry that attack. Fuck you. Are you kidding me? I kicked you and then you still managed to block. Holy shit. The fact that that worked was amazing. Hello, Great Wolf. I just killed your boss. Your boss? <laughs> your boss right in front of your face. How's it feel, brother? I don't feel too bad about this particular doggo. This guy's a lot more menacing than, or like, this menacing looking than, uh, than Sif from Dark Souls 1. So I don't really care too much about this one. I do really like this enemy though. Like, I hate this boss battle because I have to deal with the champion's Grave Thunder. Or, yeah, I think. But I really like the freaking wolf though. Really like the way that you have to fight him. And his attacks and all the jazz, it's really cool. But the NPC dude is just a waste of space. Alright. A <laughs> waste of space. <laughs> That's one way to call somebody. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go and continue because... I'm only 8 minutes in. Still have to get through the Corian village. Then I'll be able to get the Onyx Blade, which is aesthetically, or yeah, I guess aesthetically, my favorite weapon in the game. Definitely. I really like the way that the Onyx Blade looks. But I'm not sure how useful it is, because it does a lot of dark damage, which means that the physical damage is not going to be that high. At least, that is what I think. Could be wrong about that. I'm going to be upgrading it, and we're going to see how, what we can get out of that weapon. It's a really good weapon to use as a Pyromancer, I think. Because of the dark damage, because dark and pyromancy scale with the same stats. With the same combination of stats. You know what I you know what I think right now? Fuck you guys, I'm out of here. You're not worth the time. You are a waste of fucking space. There we go. What a fun area of a game, right? Where they literally just put almost dead things on the ground, make you believe that they are dead, and then let them scream like crazy. No, 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 no. Christ almighty. That's a grabbing attack. Let me bombo combo you, thank you.
Yeah, let's get out of there. <laughs> Don't really want to deal with that shit. Ash is a very indulgent, such a shitty DLC. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I personally think it's to be so. And I think a lot of people can agree with me that Ashes of Ariandel is a pretty shitty DLC. <laughs> Fuck off. Love it when Dark Souls uses really weak enemies to push you into the freaking pits or to toxic you or whatever or just do bad things to you in general. Fuck that item. <laughs> it's not worth it. I need to get the hell out of here as fast as I can. This place sucks. At least, at least three days fun to fight, I suppose. Or like it's an interesting boss battle, say it like that. There's also some good weapons in this DLC, or like some interesting weapons. But aside from that, I can get through this DLC in one. Well, when you think about it like that, like I'm not exploring everything in this place. I'm actually skipping a really big part of this place, which is like the Viking village and all that jazz. I think when it comes to content, the DLC is, is fine. How about I just get the fuck out of here? Because I don't want to deal with that rape your ass. I've seen your kind. Shut up. I love your voice, but I've heard it so many times that I would very much appreciate it if you were, sh if you were to shut up. I'm not doing a lot of damage. Greatsword versus greatsword action, eh? That's interesting, I suppose. Wow. Excellent maneuver. Yeah, he says when he fails a parry. Ah, uh, partial, don't care. Also, I don't need the two end when I'm parrying, because it's not gonna increase the damage. At least I don't think so. Damn it! I was hoping I'll be able to nip him in the butt. Yes, face the kick. He says, as he is getting absolutely wrecked. There we go. Sir Wilhelm can be kind of annoying to fight, though. Fuck. I'm looking for opportunities to parry, by the way. If you're wondering. There we go. I tend to get hit a lot when I try to do that. Damn it. Oh boy, that could've killed me. That could definitely have killed me. There we go, no healing from here. Uh, okay. <laughs> when he almost died, he turned on his Dark Souls PvP. Uh, like, just basic Dark Souls instinct of rolling around like crazy. I've actually been wondering if you can parry Freed. Would that be possible? I haven't tried that quite yet. Might be something interesting to try. Even though I doubt it though. I'm not even sure if you can if you can parry Reapers in general. Outside of a boss battle. Let's keep running, running, running all around this place. Killing the freaking people, cause I like it. Hello doggos. You little pieces of shit. How do you always manage to hit me? Before I hit you. God. I think the other thing that like a lot of people, or at least me in any case, don't really like too much about this DLC are the enemies. Like the first part of the DLC is just like wolves galore. 
which are just like stronger dogs really and then you have you have the trees with the fire and all that jazz and then the Corbin village you have these crazy Corbian knights which are an experience I would say and then these things I don't know man I'm trying to justify my opinion but why am I even trying to do that there's no point it is my opinion so be it I'm fine roll Roll. Don't want to get there by the maggots. Because that will suck. Gonna get blocked by flies again? Not really. <laughs> I also think that this DLC just isn't... The thing is... You know, if I... Because this is very much based on uh, the painting of Arya Miss from, uh, from Dark Souls 1. But the other thing that I... Like, if I compare it to the painting of Arya Miss... Like, in the painting of Arya Miss, you have, like, that certain mystery going on or whatever, like... I don't know, it's like, it's like a little part in Dark Souls 1, which is just, like, really mysterious and, and in a certain way, creepy and interesting and all that jazz. Well, over here... I feel in Dark Souls 3 you have to have epic locations most of the time. This this entire game is, if I have to word it, just epic all around. There's not a lot of aesthetic shenanigans, or at least I don't think so. Like, for instance, the, the Ring City DLC is ridiculously epic with all the enemy types and all the encounters and the way that looks and all the jazz. Well, this one isn't. And it's like, if, if I feel like something's lacking with this one. Or something like it. I'm not 100% sure about my own... Like, my reasons why I don't like this DLC too much. Alright, let's see if we can parry Freed. <laughs> Alright, Freed. What are you gonna do? Oh my god! You can parry Freed! If you're wondering, no, I never knew that. 600 hours into Dark Souls 3 and I never knew I could pay for it. That is amazing. Hello, Freed. Say hello to my new strategy against you. At least in your first phase. Not sure about your final phase. I still don't know how to deal with that attack. Not properly in any case. <laughs> what? All right. Hello, Oriental. Let me just go and get out of the way, because otherwise you're gonna squish me. Of course, I get hit by that. Well, at least I. I would say at least I don't get hit by Freed, but she decided to prove me wrong. Yet again. Frostbitten, because of course. And squished again. Also, I can't see. Well, I, I, I couldn't see a part of my screen. <laughs> because my microphone was in the way. There we go. Your healing ain't gonna do shit. Alright, it's time to deal with... Frida! But the real Freed. <sighs> I'm not gonna turn my weapon. I don't feel like that's a good idea in this battle. Parrying Black Flame Freed? I'm not sure about that. Don't really think I'm gonna try doing that. <laughs> Seems like a little bit too much of a risky thing. Because I feel like if I miss a parry, I'm gonna die. Well, either die or take a metric crap load of damage. Damn it. Failed to dodge the last one. 
Um, wait. Um, that's one you're gonna do. Oh. One flame. Okay, only one. Nice. Perfect outspacing. Pfft. Yeah, I did try it. <laughs> I said I wouldn't do it, but I'm way too eager to test that to test it out. But pairing in a first phase is actually a pretty good. Oh my god, it's it still works. It is still a viable strategy. That is insane. Damn it! I'm not sure which attacks I can parry though. So it is. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I thought I would be far enough away. God damn it. I thought I'd be far enough away to be able to avoid that attack, but no, she has the range of. She just has a lot of range. That really sucked, actually, because I felt like, oh wow. Freed? Like I can parry Freed? Which is already like, oh boy. That's interesting. Yeah, well. Don't know how many souls there are over there, but I don't think I should care. Let me go into this. Get out of the way. You fucking piece of garbage. That works for me. Let's go and parry the bitch. If only I knew this during the freaking dagger play, so I could have killed her so easily. <laughs> Let's go and hit freaking Ariandel. Oh yeah, sure, you go and hit Ariandel. Works for me. If you kill each other, that would be quite handy for me. Also, you are in literally the worst place in the entire arena. Maybe not the, mo the worst place, but actually, yeah, this is the worst place right now. I'm going to run away. What are you... What do you think you're doing? Also, a poise. Because of course you have poise when you are wearing... Not a lot. Well, who knows how ripped she is under underneath those uh, ropes. God damn it. Kind of annoying that Ariandel also like tends to go into a corner. Go and heal up. I will say the second phase is definitely my least favorite one now. The first one is pretty dang cool, but, like pretty dang interesting because it's just like basic freed. But the last one. Like, the second one is just... You have to deal with two of them, and yeah. Dealing with two enemies in a boss battle... The boss battle needs to be pretty well organized, or like, pretty well made, if you don't wanna... Like, if you don't wanna make it unfair or really annoying to deal with. God damn, you freed. There we go. I still feel like it's fine, because, uh, freed... As long as you don't get too close to her, she's not gonna go into it like insane mode. <laughs> Where she just uh, hunts you down and tries to attack you. So I guess that's one way that they did that. They did that. You can also focus on, on, on Freed if you want to, but Ariandel is better because... I think mainly because you can stun him at a certain point and do a lot of damage that way. Alright, Freed. I'm gonna try to maybe not parry, unless if I see a really good opportunity to do so. There we go. Yikes. I'm not gonna parry anymore. Why? Because it's a risky freaking strategy. Heal up. Gonna get hit, but I don't care. What? 
Oh. Oh boy. Hmm. Gotta love those grabbing attacks. I can do a metric crap load of damage if you're unlucky or whatever. There we go. Well, it's very interesting to know that I can uh, that I can parry free. It's especially handy for the first phase, I'd say. But I feel like at this point I've learned freed in such a way that I don't need to parry. Unless if this might actually be a really good thing for me to do in the uh, Great Axe playthrough, and I won't be able to do it in the next playthrough because I'm allowed. Like uh, I'm gonna need to use standard shields in the next playthrough, so. But that might be very good for the Great Axe and Great Hammer playthrough. Especially the Great Axe. Not particularly the Great Hammer, though. The biggest difference between those two is just like that the Great Hammers have a lot more range than the Great Axes, and yeah. Great Axes are slow, don't have a lot of range, so it's very difficult to hit bosses sometimes. <laughs> but that's the, this is the end of the episode, so I hope you enjoyed the, this episode of Just Set While I was playing Dark Souls 3. The next episode, we're going to go and deal with the Ringed City. At least a part of it, in any case. Goodbye.